Hello everyone, Mirage Flight here bringing you another game of Company of Heroes 2. This time between the Machine as our Soviet player and Subliarian as our Ostier player. These two are particularly well known, Siberian being a streamer, while the Machine is particularly known for his General's Gentleman. Fresh conscripts have arrived. If I are nothing too interesting, just conscripts start from on the machine on the right hand side of the map, with Siberians going for the typical build of likely it's just going to be grenadiers. Engineers have secured the sector. I don't particularly like this map just because of all the deep snow on front of the left hand side of the base. This makes moving out incredibly difficult. But the right hand side does have a particularly have open cutoff. Looks like Siberian's going to go capture the munitions in the center and is likely going to wire off the truck in the center, which he is doing. The machine's going to be capping his fuel with his first combat engineer squad, and I can see him, him wiring off the tractor in front. Oh, he seems to be going for the cap, just garrisoning the building instead. Likely just for that extra line of sight, but he should finish capping this. Would buy him a lot more time. And Severian's wiring off the entire center of the map. He doesn't want anyone to take those early munitions from him. Alright, we have three Grenadiers are going to be on the field, while it's going to be three versus three conscripts for the machine. Fresh conscripts have arrived. We built it as and the machine is finally wired off the tractor in the northern the field, the as well as wiring the other piece of green cover near his northern field. So far, no action, but we may have our first engagement as both sides move down toward the south. The it looks like both sides are wiring off whatever green cover is facing their opponent, so they can't make use of it. Severin sending his grenade. Here's likely to that building, but he's going to find that it's garrisoned by conscripts. He'll be forced off immediately. The machine sent up sandbags down the southern field. Allow them to stall any grenadiers that try to make their way down there. This will secure both fields for the machine. Supply sector under attack. His cutoff is being... And captured by pioneers, however. And see, Siberian's going for an early mortar, likely to bomb him out of this building in the north. His grenadier force is moving into the cutoff, however. And his first conscript squad is going to find this. He's also sending another squad to assist, however. Siberian should be able to fight these two conscript squads off. Or simply because Grandiers are better at long range engagement than conscripts are. You have an early minesweeper from the machine, however, and it's leaving its combat engineers to support. Conscripts on the flank, however, will likely force this off. There's simply too many conscripts for these Grandiers to handle. One squad's already been forced off, and these piles are going. There they go, retreating, and as well as the Grenadiers. Meanwhile, with the mortar firing into the north, trying to clear out the building. Two good hits, but not much in terms of health damage. Can now throw Molotovs. Looks like the early minesweepers to here to cut the wire. And now we'll move into the munitions and begin decapping. To cuts the wire, we also have access to that truck again for use as cover. Mortar's repositioning, going all the way back to base it seems. Siberian's moving his army out once again, this time with an MG42 to support. It is now under our control. In terms of map control, well, the Oster is struggling incredibly... Yeah, the Oster is struggling to you know, have any sort of map control. 13 fuel versus 33, though they do have a munition advantage. Well, they did have the munition advantage until well, they lost a central well, middle point. Flamethrower on the Pioneers as Siberian's first munition purchase. The enemy is like I hear the smoke out, out the conscripts in the building. 
Conscripts in the church are instantly forced away. Though they do a soft retreating. So it's likely just going to wait for the mortar to do its job uh, before moving up those pioneers, because these pioneers have taken quite a bit of health damage. They're not particularly durable. Conscripts are forced down the buildings, taking good hits from the mortar, down to half health, and are forced off. Flameburst goes off and kills three members of the squad. No more sandbags down in the south, allowing conscripts to steadily advance, giving themselves cover. Oh, they will likely be forced off from this point, facing two grenadiers. Coming back, like they're behind those sandbags. Well, the northern field's finally cut off, and we have a rifle grenade going off. Kills two miles contrives and causing considerable health damage. They're forced off, running over red cover. But they should be able to make it back to base. Comes with Urang into the cutoff to stall them, stall these grenadiers. And we do have Molotov. First Molotov goes off, but only forces the grenadiers to relocate. These Kamsgrips will likely lose this engagement. Well, grenadiers are not the best squad, but you have close range. They do have more DPS than a single Conscript member. Earth man per man. You know, grenadiers going into the built in. Protect Northern Field. Conscripts going on to the VP. VP is still happening on the cutoff. Rifle grenade going off. Conscripts down to three men. They do have yellow cover, however, and may be able to win this. You know, more conscripts are coming up. That are being slowed by the deep snow. Grandier's forced up. Oh, but Siberian did get the cut up. The Siberians chosen to go and mechanize the stone, likely waiting out for the Stug E and Tiger. While well, the machine still hasn't chosen his doctrine yet. The new men have arrived. We have the point. And we have an exposed MG in the mid, down the southern VP. Well, maybe able to hold the point. It will also be incredibly easy for us off. Conscripts like to go and throw a Molotov into the building, forcing the Grenadiers out. There we go. F Grenadiers trying to get behind the tracker, but it has been wired off, so they can't properly use that cover. You know, oh, two more Conscripts and Combat Engineers are moving up. And this will force the Grenadiers squad off, especially when they have no cover. Northern Field being decapped. Combat Engineers still continue to cut wire. And we got more sandbags being set up to give the machine's troops more, more cover. We are losing supplies to the enemy. We do have our 251 half track coming out, however. Like you hear just to reinforce and provide a map presence for Austere. And we got the MG42 decapping the cutoff for the southern field. Pioneers will also likely be moving on to the southern field as well once they finish capping that strategic point. And so far, I don't think we have any mines set on the field yet. Oh, the machine does have enough field to go for one of his tier buildings, tier 3 or tier 4, but he doesn't have enough mean, manpower or to really he build it. And he has chosen to go on tier 2. So we will have anti-tank guns and support weapons. Molotov well, forces the Grenadiers out. More conscripts coming in from the north. Back from firing and suppresses the squad. V42 firing and suppressing. Conscripts go on return, however, but these Grenadiers will likely be forced off. MG42 is refacing. And the machine does not have AT grenades. The ha and the half jack's trying to push these conscripts. It's back into the front of the gun. And G42 packing up. Wonder if it's going to put into a half track protection, but it seems like he's just trying to get out of there. MG42 setting up once again. Enemy forces are attempting to capture so, our territory. He's trying to cap recap VPs. He's and he's got Panzer Grenadiers and Grenadiers moving up to the cores to cut off. I don't think this MG42 is going to hold, however. Conscript. 
Um, so far, hasn't activated the Molotov, but the MG42 has been suppressed by the, uh, the Maxim. Consulate Squad forced to retreat while the Panzer Grenadiers move in on the flanks, but the Maxim is refacing. We'll likely suppress the squad as they move across the road. Panzer Grenadiers suppressed, but the Maxim forced off by flanking Pioneer into a flamethrower. We also have AP rounds going off, but that NG needs to get out. There are reinforced near. Didn't get out. There's the guy gets killed by the Molotov of damage over time effect. But the Panzer Grenadiers do manage to clear the AT gun. And they recruits it with Panzer Grenadiers. Really risky strat and expensive one. And especially since it's right in front of the machine's base. Now engagement to the north. LMG Grenz engage in conscripts. That building could collapse. The machine sees this and pulls up, but... Grenadiers are dying due to the Molotov and fall back. If only a sliver of life left. Engagement still continuing to happen at the sudden cutoff. Sabir needs to recruit that machine gun, but he first needs to reinforce those piles to four men before he can recruit that machine gun without losing the squad. The number says two, but it's actually three in reality. Flamethrowers and Grenadiers engaging these conscripts should be able to force them off with the half-track support. He may try to throw them on top, but they're simply losing too much in terms of health and are forced off. More conscripts around the corner, however. Pioneers are reinforcing, but they need to warm up or get into the half draft before they start losing members. MG's going to get cleared. Go ahead and get engagement on. Because the Baron lost his motor and the machine managed to take it. We got the Pioneers freezing out there. He needs to warm them up. Shouldn't really need to fire. Just stuff in the hat trick and jump them back out. Grenadiers are really low on health and they need to heal up. Looks like the machine's going for his tier 3, either for a fast T-34 or T-70. He's got the mach gonna have the fuel for both soon enough once the building's complete. But Sabirin is getting his own fuel back. And the AT gun he still did manage to get back to base. And that's really going to matter, but that AT gun crew will put a little bit more damage than the usual one, simply because they're being crewed by Panzer Grenadiers. So it's going to be incredibly expensive to reinforce. More Panzer Grenadiers. They're on the cutoff, trying to get the cap, but they are suppressed and now pinned. Can you get out of there? There they go. Oh, they're also setting a, looks like a teller mine in this near center of the munition. Maxim is freezing, but is likely just trying to get to the fire down to his south so he can warm up and begin decapping Siberian's fuel. Siberian also capping northern fuel. But he will be coming under fire from the mortar that has been stolen from him. We also got two cut squads of conscripts moving into the northern fuel. So far the mortar hasn't hit anything. Rifle grenade goes off and hit... Kills two members of conscript squad and causes heavy health damage on the rest of them. And the Grenadiers are forced up, but they do manage to get the cap. Do we have any tech for it? Maybe? So he just has his. Looks like he just has his tier two up, and I think he'll just be stalling for tigers. And the machine still hasn't chosen his doctrine. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. More harassment up in the north from conscripts. Grenadiers moving in on mortar, but uh, the machine sees this and is already falling back. Combat Grenadiers may want to backpedal so they don't lose members to this. But more conscripts are on their way to engage. And the first T 34s hit the field. This will cause considerable pressure. Though Siberian does have an anti tank gun that he stole from the machine. That is his only source of AT aside from the Grenadier snares in terms of, in the form of their Panzer Fels. The T-34 will be engaging, will likely force these two squads off, but he's backing up from the Pioneers. Shot hit. It's the green cover. Pioneers are, are low on health. That shot 
could kill them all. On the corner. AT guns repositioned, but this is not really a good spot. Very it's very limited in terms of being able to fire aside from using attack round command. No engagement up in the north. Grindir's engaging conscripts behind green cover. Molotov goes off. Crits one member, forces the grenades off. Oh now T-34 engages. There's only one kill and this is map from the main can. This is from its coaxial and hall mounted MG against those pioneers. And we, but we do have a teller mine going down. Anti-tank gun is ready for action. Alright, the machine is detecting this since it seems like the minesweeper does not, not care about if you have line of sight. So as long as the mine's within the vicinity. Three thirty four engaging Grenz in the church. We'll likely force them out. Is poking down into south before returning back to the Siberian strong point. Conscripts in the north are forced off, but more conscripts are already on their way. Seems like just gonna hide behind the fence and engage them once those great deers come around the corner should they try to counter Norton from again. Grand deers forced out of the church and they're withdrawing. Panzer Grenadiers and, and conscripts at close range, but conscripts are throwing a Molotov. Cyber so dodges that grenade, and conscripts will be forced off. Tell our mine around the corner still being detected. And still no armor. Not even a Stuggy has hit the field yet. Panzerfeld's going off in the T 34, but the Grenz will be forced off. It looks like he did manage to kill the engine rather than just damage it. This will force the machine to bring his combat engineers back up north to fix his tank. He does have another squad in production though to aid him in repairs. Panzer Grandier's engaging combat engineer and conscripts. Causing heavy damage to the conscripts who are, were in red cover. The Molotov will be gone, but the... Our, our Panzer Grandier's do... Grenadiers do get hit by that Molotov and are forced off, oh, but the conscripts as well. However, the combat engineers are still around to get the cap in the southern field. Grenadiers engaging conscripts will force the squad off. It looked like Siberians using smoke to try and cover the retreat of his T-34 as it slowly returns back to base. We need to reestablish our supply lines. AT gun set up just in case any armor from Siberian tries to intercept it. Oh, he's still quite a ways from the Tiger at, at 8 CPs from 11. We have no doctor, no choice yet still from the machine. Conscript pulling out of the self. Conscript's engaging by MG42 is suppressing both squads. Forced off. T-34 is back in action on Howard and full force sees Grenz off. Off while the machine's conscript moving to Captain DP. Grenz getting slowed down in the deep snow. The near these units are particularly good at chasing down retreating squads. T-34 relying mainly on its MGs to deal damage to infantry, but we get a good hit there, kills two members. Maxim's really bunched up. A rifle grenade could kill the entire squad. Only kills two of them thanks to the green cover. Herbert Grenz are forced off. MG's retreating due to its low health. Conscripts engaging the Panzer Grenadiers who in the middle open. They already lost a member, two members. Very automatically forced away. Unable to close with those conscripts. 334 engaging those pioneers. They need to move. Member gets killed by its first tank round. Now we have mortar rounds going off down on, on to well, where Siberian was. 
but that's nowhere, no longer where he is. He has moved his MG into the house on the left hand side of the map to cover his munition point. And he also has built another MG 42. That he's built a new crew, you can tell by the models manning the gun. We're builders, not killers. Why are they so the big machine may be saving for some sort of column, but it's depending on what Siberian brings onto the field, since both players have not used any doctrinal abilities at all. The North Rifle Grenades goes up, but conscripts are forced away. Currently down to 300 VPs for our Soviet and 460 for our Airmach. And you're being engaged by a T-34 and will be forced away. There's more concerts coming in. He may be able to wipe out this squad since he has so many troops engaged. And the deep snow slowing them down and he loses his squad on retreat. This leaves Siberian with only three real combat infantry squads. While well, facing five squads of conscript, it's for the machine. This is really going to hinder Siberian's map control. Since he, half his army is made up of support weapons. And we have more firing onto the Hard and feel. Grind is trying to avoid the barrage but the T-34s is back again. Here to force him. It runs off. Grins will will not get the cap and will be forced back. Pioneer is moving in in the north. Crits one member to combat engineer squad. These mines are still being detected. But they have not yet been cleared. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Conscript in the south, holding off Siberian's infantry. Pioneers are forced off and may be wiped by this T-34. Grandier is forced off from the northern field. Pioneer is falling back. Designates the teller mine with a single shot. But the Pioneers will make it back to base. We haven't seen much armor in terms of this game. Siberian's likely just stalling for his Tiger, though he has just called in a Stug E to the field. And the machine has floating a ton of field. He has 709, soon to be 800 manpower and soon to be 240 foot. And seems to just going to call in his IS-2 right away. You can immediately call it in. There we go. IS-2 has hit the field. Severian still needs He's a quarter of a CB to get his Tiger out. He took E engaging down himself, but the sandbags are providing good protection. The thing with the Stugs is that they're so low to the ground that their gun tends to hit anything, the object in front of anything they're shooting at. This also makes Stugs terrible attacking up hills. IS-2 is going to force away these Panzer Grandiers. First shot misses, but he's pa Stug E's back backing out. Panzer Grandiers may need to get out of there since they're bunching up. The squad's immediately forced- oh, but he wipes the squad on retreat with the IS-2. Siberian cannot afford these losses. He is very little in terms of combat infantry. Only three Gren squads now. now I really don't count the Pioneers as, as a real, real combat squad since they rely entirely on that flamethrower to deal damage. And we do have a Tiger now out for Siberian. Moving down into the south. Comscript's going to be forced away from ground LMGs. What the Pioneer Squad support? Eyes two will likely move down there to intercept. They may find a tiger, but there is a blizzard raging. So we may be able to get this flank on the tiger. 
The machine can aid you grenade it since he has upgraded it. Tiger turn and start to engage. Both squads are forced back. Oh, but first shot wipes out the squad since they were bunching so heavily on the retreat. That's slightly even stuff. Four or yeah, he's still facing four conscript squads. Raising troops dying under your command is an inefficient use of state resources. Still ease in the north. Likely won't go out without support, however, since there is a T-34 in the area and he can't really see much on his own. Still E was trying to move up. Nice right, so 2 seems to be moving up to the north. Grim's capping Northern Fuel. Rifle grenade going off on Mortar Team. Kills only two members but causes heavy health damage. Mortar Team also hits that one as they fall back. T-34 engaging. Comes under fire from the pack, gets no hits on the Stug. Pack's gonna be intact, but should be able to get out of there. Nice, two's likely going to engage on the left hand side. These Grins will be forced off to. Shot almost hits them, but instead hits the tractor. T 34 was being repaired. Start setting up fires or his combat engineers are gonna freeze out there. Enemy. Looks like we have our first major tank engagement. T-34 and IS-2 engaging Tiger. No damage on the Tiger yet. But shot does go through. But the machine is pulling back his tanks. Are you men Soviets? How can they be freezing? Have you not planned for winter? Both sides have soft retreating back, like where they are strongest. Tiger looks like it's going in once again, but we do have an AT gun set up. Spare fires, shot at the flex from the Zis gun. We got light artillery barrage going down on the Zis. Nice penetrating hit from the Zis, but if the gun's not really looking, we'll likely find something to crew from that barrage. Ice 2 and T-34 engaging, however, with this support for the Tiger forces T-34 back. And he didn't lose actually, but it's incredibly low. He needs to pull that back and reinforce and heal. T-34 pulling back for repairs. Enemy forces are neutralizing Siberian is content to take the southern part of the map. Well, all the machines content to stay in the north where the majority of his army is. Ice 2 rolling through the fence. May get Fausted. We'll get a good shot on the Stuggy. Faust goes off. Deflects off the strong frontal armor of the IS 2. Concerts are forced off by the Stuggy, however. Your predecessor died a hero. Perry's going off on the Tiger. Will be faster since hit Siberian's piles are Vet 2. You win 3. Well, we only have a. That zero combat engineers go to repair the eyes too, which will take much longer. Awaiting command. And his T-34 is still at base, Under desperately in need of repairs. Engineers still trying to cap, cap but fall back. They do manage to kill two miles of combat engineer squad, however. And that will slow the repairs on that eyes too. Though another combat engineer squad has arrived, and he uses merge. There's the okay, reinforce those combat engineers so we can get these repairs done faster. Tiger moving up. Have to help us avoid no AT gun, so just be Tiger versus the eyes two and Mortar hits vet two. The random one man MG squad needs to get that out of there or could lose it. Start begins repairs on the Stug E. Tiger falling back a bit. We also have a fuel cache set up for the machine on the point right outside his base. No fuel caches for Siberian though. Though he does have a lot of manpower. Can't really buy anything, however, because he's almost at pop cap. In fact, both players are at the exact, ex yeah, both players are at the exact same pop cap and. Well, 
was 95. Now we're back to normal at 97. So we'll find no real major engagements with these tanks. But we do have smoke going off. Eyes 2 leading the assault. This is first shot. Shot the flex off the Eyes 2 front, frontal armor. Stokey engaging infantry, wipes the squad. Stokey's now vet 2. Maxine's forced off. Tiger engaging. Everybody's losing more men, but he does cripple the engine of the Tiger. Eyes 2 is how facing its rear to the enemy. And it's The machine slowly advancing his AT gun using the camouflage ability, but that ability is only really useful once your AT gun's in position. We're trying for some insane scouting. Mortar hits the tank, but it causes no real damage. But that shot does kill two pioneers. Half tracks here to reinforce the squads. Looks like T 34 and IS 2 are moving into the center of the map. They'll find a Zis gun. First shot hits the T-34, but at least should be able to clear the Zis gun they are facing. Incendiary going down in the house. Will force all these units to retreat or he could lose the MG in the house. MG's unpacking. Are all the flames fall in front rather than directly on top of the house. Zis gun out of position and finds itself getting clear, however. You know, it looks like Siberian sending his grenadiers on the flank in an attempt to clear this mortar. Rifle grenade going off will likely only kill two members. Three, actually, but the mortar still survives. Grenadiers forced off by the IS-2. T-34 engaging grenadiers. It is at vet 2, so it will shoot faster. But it's not hitting anything. The main does not have the pop cap to get another IS-2. Ooh, and he doesn't currently have the manpower to do so. Both players can replace their heavy tank tanks, however, they do have the fuel. The main issue is going to be manpower, especially in the late game when they're trading, trading with each other. Conscript being suppressed by an MG bunker. IS-2 moving in, in to break the line. Conscripts are pinned. First shot misses. It causes some health damage. He should shift to the bunker, however. Severian pulls back the squad. Ice 2 could have engaged that bunker, but Tiger is coming back in. They won't be able, the machine won't be able to throw AT grenades as his conscripts are still pinned. They've now recovered, however. Both tanks simply trading shots off each other and causing health damage. Slowly building their veterancy. IS-2 will soon be Vet-1, though the Tiger is already at its Vet-1. And it does have a far more useful ability in terms of Blitz compared to IS-2's capture point. We haven't also seen any shocks on the field. Hold. Could be useful to replace losses later on when you need stronger infantry, especially if you're desperate in the VP. Well but Severin is draining the machine. The machine's down to 140 with two CPs. But he could wipe out this Grenadier squad with his T 34 and Conscript squad. Grenadier squad down to one member. Could lose it. Shot misses. Our target weak point from Stunt stun to tank. And Faust goes off. Could lose this T-34, but losing main gun. So he could take it out. But a, 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 takes it out. Engagement itself with the tiger. Grains are forced off. Oh, I is too engaged with the tiger. Both tanks miss. Conscripts going in for the AT grenade, but they're bunching up. Ura back to the point. I is too pulling Moving through the hedges. Shot off on the bunker. Tiger is. Is it not in range actually? Bunker block. 
bunker is destroyed by the mortar, but we do have another IS-2 for the machine out. And Siberian cannot get any more armor out since he's pop-capped. Tell our mines destroyed by the second IS-2. Tiger engage in conscripts in the middle of the open. IS-2 moving up to engage. It's a good shot off on the tiger, but conscripts find himself being wiped out by the tiger. Both IS-2s are moving up. They could kill the tiger. Tiger's blitzing back, however. This gun's trying to provide support. Decruise to zip this gun with the IS-2s. Now he's going to destroy the gun. Tiger needs repairs to, um, to round half health. Our opponents are seizing a now more infantry moving in. Mate. They try to foul these tanks, but IS-2s have really strong front But he destroys the engine on one of the IS-2s. Fouls bounced off on that same IS-2, however. Pack engagement, but bouncing off the frontal armor. Combat engineer is trying to repair the destroyed engine IS-2. But he needs to stop that tank before repairs can commence. And he has three combat engineer squads on the field, all with sweepers. Not only will allow him to fix his tanks faster, but also means he won't run the risk of usually running into teller mines. Though I don't think there had been any more teller mines planted. Mortar is almost at three. And we do have a shock squad now on the field. The deep snow is slowing them down from getting into the north. It took ease mobilizing back out. We'll find that there are no enemies in the north currently. Teller mines going down again. Our squad's incredibly vulnerable while planting and building. Water hit. It's nothing. I think the mine was cancelled. Shots will find himself forced off by the Stuggy. Well, well, he could have wiped them out. They're incredibly low on health, and I only have one member left. Stuggy's in pursuit. But this is why I was saying Stugs are not particularly good at firing up hills. They'll usually hit the ground in front of them. No one firing on things. These dad don't have relatively high target size. Water firing. Grins are really out of position and can't really do much here, but I think he may be trying to get a rifle grenade on the mortar or just faust it, but this really runs the risk of losing his squad. And if he, even if he loses the squad. We've got light artillery going, but Raj going off in the mortar. Mortar's not packing up, but now it is. Couldn't lose it. Mortar gets away. Conscripts are running into the same area, however, and down to one man. And get themselves wiped by light artillery barrage. Now we have two anti-tank guns to support this tiger against the two IS-2s, while the machine has only has these IS-2s for, for his source of AT. More capping going up in the north. Ian is still losing VP, the VP war. Well, on the eight points to 421. And this blizzard will halt down any assault since the tanks really can't see much, but also make attacking. And the line's much easier since in stage guns won't be able to really use their range. Unless there's a spotter in front of them. Both sides really can't change up their armies hard. We have fallen to 100 points. Do the reason for this is because of their incredibly continue. high pop cap due to the heavy tanks that we deployed. And these repairs are slowing the machine down. Can't get his tanks into the field. Hold. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Grenadiers trying to cap the left hand strategic point. Eyes 2 could move up to intercept. Tanks moving up. Could wipe the squads as they're close together. There's the crates instead. We are down to 75 points. Need to get up. But the machine is being triple capped. He's leading VPs now. Tiger engaging the infantry of the machine. Needs to get these IS-2s up there to do something. Our territory is 
He has to make a play before he drains out of VP. So down to 53. One of our machine guns has been machine gun gets destroyed by the tiger. Bias 2 are now moving up, trying to make a play. Mortar. Er, no, that was. I think that's mortar smoke. Bias 2 is engaging, the but. But the vetted ICU finds its engine game damage. Bias 2 is trying to push through the lines. Incendiary going off on the packs. Bias 2 are now engaging the tiger. But the machine only doesn't really have much infantry to support just to clear this pack. The pack will likely be decrewed by the 50. By the 50 on the dish. By the dish gun. The machine does lose one of his IS-2s. He could lose this one as well because he's got damage engines under fire from two packs in the Tiger. And this may be it. The machine's almost out of VPs. IS-2s deflecting shots, but the Tiger's shots as well as the pack support. That, there goes the eyes 2 for the machine and this will likely be the game. He ran out of VP so was forced to make a play and it just didn't work out for him trying to break this line of packs and the tiger. So it seems Siberian wins with 